Ted, we're in front of a suite of Universal Avionics uh, equipment here, not unlike your aircraft. And it includes uh, the Universal FMS and the UL 800 series Unilink, which that combination is fans capable. Um, you've been flying that particular combination for how long now? Oh, about two years now. Is it uh, safe to say that you've made some North Atlantic crossings during that time? Uh, it's very safe to say that. Matter of fact, if I count them, I think 12 North Atlantic crossings, but more than that, uh, we went across the South Atlantic, uh, Indian Ocean, South Pacific, North Pacific, all kinds of waters. Uh, twice I flew around the world with the equipment on board. So I have gathered a little bit of experience. Well, let's start with a, with a North Atlantic crossing. Can you tell us a typical scenario uh, when you're getting ready to launch with the fans capability? I get my crossing clearance via data link. Once I have that, we proceed to our exit point and then we coast out. In past years, pre-CBDLC capability, we used to contact uh, Shanwick on HF and uh, used to make position reports, every position that was required, and then contact Gander and so on and so on. And that wasn't always real easy because HF is not the most um, reliable, maybe, or the most uh, easy to operate communication means. The uh, transmission quality is influenced by all kinds of effects, uh, sunspots, among others, atmospheric effects, whatnot. Uh, furthermore, North Atlantic is a very busy route, and uh, there are many aircraft on the same frequency. So you try to make your position report, and you may be 10, 15, 20 minutes past your position uh, when where you should make a report before you can get your report through because everybody else is blocking the frequency. Mm -hmm. So now I'm talking CBDLC. And to be honest, the first thing on a flight like that I wouldn't want to miss is the autopilot. The second thing I would never ever want to miss again is CBDLC. It's that important to me. Because we coast out make one call to Shanwick, we confirm our cell call, and that is it. The rest goes via CPDLC until we fly into, into Shanwick, out of Shanwick, into Gander's FIR, at which point we make one more call, confirm cell call, rest via CPDLC. Most important for me communication tool that I have experienced in the years of flying that I've done.